Hey, what's going on YouTube? And on today's episode, I'd like to share with you the easiest way to create smoke on your food images with Photoshop. Let's get started. Okay guys, I have imported the image on the Photoshop and this picture was taken a few months back for one of the meat shop here in Jakarta and if you notice that uh, we didn't manage to get the smoke on the image because the time is really short and we choose to put it on Photoshop which I'm gonna show it to you how to do it right now one of the way to do it is you can do it manually with brush and you're gonna paint it and put some effects but I find that it is a really troublesome method to do and one of the fastest way to do it is you can search online for a free brush plugin which I'm gonna do it now and I'm gonna show it to you you can go to brusheasy.com and search for real smoke and there's a lot of smokes that you can choose uh, I'm just gonna download one of it and I will put the link on the description below so you can download and give it a try I'm gonna download this uh, plugin okay open the folder it is really easy to install just have to open the folder and double click the ABR file and it should be installed on your Photoshop already so let's have a check and yes it's already here there's plenty to choose okay the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the brush on our image so what you need to do is you need to create a new layers and go to brush and select the brush that we have already downloaded I find that number 26 works the best on this image okay put the opacity around 60 and use the brush there you go after applying the brush the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up all the edge in here so what you can do is you can go to masking and just to make sure that the foreground is in black color go to brush select general brush and click the soft round okay just make it smaller and start brushing the edge just put the opacity around 40 percent and you can do it slowly okay just clean up a bit on the foot area because it look too much Okay, once you are done masking out the edge, the next thing that you want to do is you want to sharpen the smoke so it looks a little bit more contrast. So the next step that you want to do is you want to convert this smoke into a smart objects by clicking this button and convert to smart objects. So you can always tweak the sharpness later on and go to filter, go to sharpen and unsharp marks. Yeah, just adjust accordingly. So it looks more real and press OK. As you can see that the white area looks more pop-ups, looks more contrast, so it looks uh, more realistic for me. Okay, so it's done guys and it's really simple. That's all for today guys. I hope you can apply this to your image and if you like this video, give a thumbs up button and subscribe and I'll see you till the next episode. See you guys.